Dutch Low Saxon are the Low Saxon dialects spoken in the northeastern Netherlands. The remainder of the Netherlands speaks Frisian and Low Franconian languages. They do not form a coherent language family. Classification. The class, Dutch Low Saxon, is not unanimous. From a diachronic point of view, the Dutch Low Saxon dialects are merely the West Low German dialects which are native to areas in the Netherlands, as opposed to areas beyond the national border with Germany. Some Dutch Low Saxon dialects like Twents show features of Westphalian, a West Low German dialect spoken in adjacent northern Germany. From a strictly synchronic point of view, however, some linguists classify Dutch Low Saxon as a variety of Dutch. Also, as a practical matter, Dutch Low Saxon since the 17th century is influenced by Standard Dutch, whereas the Low Saxon dialects in Germany are influenced by Standard German. Recent studies have, however, shown that this does not necessarily impair mutual intelligibility and that the basis remains the same. Use Shortly after the Second World War, linguists claimed that speaking a dialect besides the standard language would impair children's learning abilities. In combination with a generally condescending attitude by the upper classes of Dutch society and the media towards speakers of Low Saxon varieties, this goaded many parents to stop passing the language on to their children. It also brought about a general opinion among speakers of Low Saxon that having the slightest accent in Dutch would reduce job opportunities and social status. Throughout the 1960s, the language decline inspired many to form dialect preservation circles and groups, such as the Twents Kreemk Vuur de Twents Asprope or the Dreens Huis van de Taol. Many of these were mainly, though not exclusively, interested in preserving, rather than promoting the language. The prevailing tone was one of melancholy, nostalgia, and a yearning for the days of old. Their focus was often on preserving cultural traits considered typical to speakers of the language, such as rural life, traditional practices and crafts, and traditional costumes. This merely confirmed many of the existing stereotypes about speakers of the language. Another, later tone was rather literary in nature. Though well intended, this caused even more estrangement with younger generations. At the same time, knowledge of and appreciation for related varieties was poor. This stifled cooperation between most of these dialect preservation groups. Instead of forming a meta-organization to stand together and helping each other to improve the status for all the different varieties, fiery discussions arose about whether the sound of should be written as either o or ow. This resulted in little cooperation, and no nationwide coordination whatsoever. Other attempts to unite the different dialect circles were met with cynicism. The conception prevailed that the dialects were too different to unite. In 1975, the rock n roll band Norma all boldly shook all perceptions of Low Saxon and its speakers. Up till then, Low Saxon was mostly restricted to traditional folklore music. Norma all openly denounced all Dutch disdain, praised farmers and local farm life, and boldly used actor Hook's Low Saxon, voicing the opinion and feelings of many Dutchmen of non-Dutch speaking origin. Their hit song, E Rend Hard, a song about two bikers who lose their lives in an accident, took the charts by storm, and is nowadays regarded a true evergreen of Dutch music. It quickly garnered them a large fang base, even in non-Low Saxon areas such as Friesland and Limburg. They inspired many other young rock and roll artists to sing in Low Saxon, who now form a subgenre of their own in the Dutch music industry which is gradually becoming aware of the genre's commercial potential. In 1996, Dutch Low Saxon was added to the European Charter for Regional or Minority Languages. This means Dutch provinces receive minor funds for preserving and promoting the use of Low Saxon. Due to a general rise in regional pride and appreciation for the Low Saxon identity, the earlier openly disdainful attitude towards Low Saxon seems to have subsided somewhat. 
Low Saxon is increasingly being used in popular culture, marketing, and local politics. The Twents municipality of Ridgesen-Holton, for example, has officially adopted a bilingual status for their town hall desks. Customers may opt for Dutch or Low Saxon help. In 2012, a radio presenter for national broadcasting station 3FM, Michiel Veenstra from Almelo, promised to present in Twents for an hour if a Twents song received more than €10,000 in the annual fundraising campaign Heck Glaze and We. As the song received more than €17,000, Veenstra kept his promise. An increasing number of local political parties have used Low Saxon in their 2014 electoral campaigns. In 2014, a Facebook page called Tucker's Be Like gained more than 18,000 followers within a week. The page uses Twents cultural concepts and expressions in the Twents language. The idea of the page was based on the U.S. internet meme, Bitches Be Like, which gained enormous popularity in 2013, and inspired many to create their own versions. The meme presents an image of a certain situation, to which a certain group would respond in a typical way. Education Dutch Low Saxon has long been stigmatized and banned from schools. People of older generations may relate numerous accounts of their childhood, in which contemporaries were afraid to go to school for fear of being reprimanded or purposely ignored for not speaking Dutch. Due to the similarities between the languages, Low Saxon was regarded a dialect of Dutch, and shifting from Low Saxon to Dutch would be relatively easy. Instead of adapting the school curriculum and guiding the children into learning Dutch as a second language and embracing the potential of the Low Saxon language, non-Dutch speaking parents were advised to speak Dutch with their children instead. That would increase their chances of success on the job market. The result was indeed a string of Dutch dialects with low Saxon features, which were in turn again looked down upon. In 2014, low Saxon is still not a part of the Dutch school curriculum. It is neither a subject, nor a mode of communication. This causes a general lack of knowledge about, and appreciation for the language. Its possible role as a language of trade between the Netherlands and Germany is often dismissed. Though recent study indicates it may be a useful addition in international trade communications, as of 2015, language enthusiasts attempt to start up courses for the language and culture, especially in the 20 region. These are mostly studies aimed at the elderly. They prove to be very popular nonetheless. There still is no professional attempt to promote the language into the school curriculum. Dialects Dutch Low Saxon comprises the following dialects. Groning's dialect Westerwolds, Dreens dialects, Stellingwolf's dialect, Gelder's over Eersel's dialect Circa's Salant's actor hooks, Twent's dialect, Velu's dialect host Velu's West Velu's. Most varieties belong to the West Low Saxon group. Grunig's is so different from the rest of the Dutch Low Saxon varieties that it may be treated separately. Twents and actor hooks belong to the Westphalian group of dialects. The remainder, Dreens, Stellingwolfs, Salants, Erkers and Velus, could be classified in their own subdivision. Since they form the westernmost group of Low Saxon dialects, considerably affected by Dutch, Erkers and West Velus are so heavily Holland applied that some people classify these dialects as Low Franconian rather than Low Saxon. Dutch influence. A lot of these dialects have been affected by the Hollandic expansion of the 17th century. All of them are lexically dependent on Dutch rather than German for neologisms. When written down, they use a Dutch-based orthography, a unified plural in N rather than T. This is found in West and Erkers and clearly ensued from Dutch influence. Since a unified plural in T for verbs is common in Low Saxon, these dialects have WIJ walk and instead of WIJ walked for we work. This feature is, surprisingly, also found in Stelling Wharfs and Grunnogs. Here this trait is believed to have Frisian rather than Hollandic origins however. The Stelling Wavine have been Frisian for centuries and Groningen was a Frisian-speaking area in the Middle Ages.
Modern Frisian has E here, N may be a kind of intermediate form between T and E. Several long vowel shifts velus, salants, stellingwarfs and dreens have experienced mutation as the Hollandic dialect rose in prestige during the 17th century. The E, e mutated into I, e, I, the o, o, into O, U, and the O, U, into U, U, Y. Twents and Eastern actor hooks, by contrast, retained their old vowels. Compare these twents and salants couples. Dare, dear, good, goid, hose, huis. Surprisingly, in many dialects the O sound was preserved in some words while it mutated towards U, U in others. As a result, in salants, we translates as who but muis as mos. Loss of the word do thou Dutch has lost the word do thou and replaced it with jij equivalent to English ye. Originally the second person plural. In many Low Saxon dialects in the Netherlands, the very same happened. The do i.e. ije ijis a gloss runs surprisingly close to the Dutch border, except in Groningen, where it enters the Dutch territory. In Twente, it is present in the easternmost villages of Dene Camp and Oldenzaal, although its disappearance from the rest of the region is only a relatively recent development. In the Acta Hoek, Dao may be found in Winter Swijic and Groenlo.